What if events went differently in Avengers Infinity War? What if Thanos possessed the Carnage symbiote? Imagine what Thanos would do, not only with the Infinity Stones, but imagine with the Carnage symbiote. How would this change the MCU timeline as a whole? Welcome back, my fellow watchers of the multiverse, to yet another brand new Marvel's What If episode. And I'm super hyped to finally talk about this insane Marvel's What If fan fiction. So, I do want to say do make sure to subscribe, like, share, and turn those notifications on so you and your friends are up to date with the latest content. But that being said, my fellow watchers, is do make sure to follow the Patreon as it's starting at just $10 a month and it really goes a long way so that you can see a lot of the behind the scenes content. But again, I do wanna say thank you all so much for the amazing support on these videos. It really does go a long way. Can we get 500 likes on this video? Be a part of the team, subscribe, it's gonna be amazing. But again, grab some popcorn and let's get into this. Location, Titan. In the vast ruins of Titan, a desolate world with remnants of its once glorious civilization, Thanos moved with a purpose known only to him. As he transversed the broken landscapes, a strange resonance called out to him echoing through the silence of the decaying planet. In a concealed chamber buried beneath the surface of Titan, the carnage symbiote laid dormant, a force waiting to be unleashed. Thanos, drawn by the symbiote's power, approached the alien entity with a calculated curiosity. The eerie red glow illuminating from the symbiote seemed to respond to the Titan's presence. As Thanos, hesitant, extended his hand towards the symbiote, he used the Infinity Gauntlet to guide it closer to him. The Mad Titan smiled as the symbiote began infusing itself with Thanos. The Mad Titan screamed out in a sharp pain as the symbiote began trying to consume his body. With the Infinity Stones, Thanos used all of his power from the Power Stone to regain control of his body, forcing the symbiote to do his bidding. The symbiote agreed. Thanos began walking out of the abandoned chamber as he saw Dr. Stephen Strange sitting on a rock. Strange was shocked at the turn of events as Thanos stood still with the carnage symbiote infused into his body. I'll let you live if you give me the stone. The Mad Titan replied. Doctor Strange slowly got up and told Thanos that he would rather die than give him the Time Stone. You're going to find out what it's like to lose, to feel so desperately that you're right, and to fail all the same. Dread it, run from it, destiny still arrives. Thanos said as he charged towards Doctor Strange. Strange signaled the others as he opened a portal where Mantis jumped on his head. But the symbiote tendrils caught her. More symbiote tendrils began catching people, like Iron Man, Spider-Man, Star-Lord, and Drax, as the snake-like grip began choking them. The grip of the carnage symbiote tightened, as did the gauntlet, as Thanos launched and unleashed a large wave of the Power Stone, knocking everybody back. Doctor Strange planted a shield spell on everyone. So this was your plan, Iron Man said, as he looked at Doctor Strange. Steven shook his head as he continued to fight with Thanos. Thanos was completely indestructible. Iron Man charged back and launched everything he had towards the Mad Titan. But he wasn't phased as spikes ran through the ground and caught Iron Man. Tony fell to the ground as his suit began to break apart, as the Carnage symbiote began trying to overtake the nano suit. Tony screamed in pain, and in the nick of time, Spider-Man kicked Thanos with so much force that it stunned him, 
giving Tony just enough time to escape his grip. The Mad Titan used the Reality Stone, creating multiple versions of himself, and within seconds, everyone was bruised and beaten. Thanos grabbed a hold of Tony and stabbed him through the chest with the symbiote blade. Peter screamed as he ran at Thanos. The Mad Titan smiled, and the symbiote tendrils launched at him too. He was suspended in the air, with his arms and legs extending out so much so that it was beginning to break the iron spider suit apart. The Mad Titan smiled as the gauntlet was raised in the air. Wait, Strange said. Thanos turned his face towards the Sorceress Supreme. I will give you the stone. Just spare their lives. Thanos dropped Spider-Man and released Iron Man. He continued to walk towards Doctor Strange and extended his hand out. He laughed as Strange placed it into Thanos' hand. Thanos smiled and turned his hand, opening a portal with the Space Stone, left all of the heroes on Titan. Tony, who was stabbed in the chest, was being helped by Peter and Star-Lord, who looked in shock. Why did you do that, Tony said, as he continued to cough up blood. It was the only way, Strange replied. The remaining heroes struggled to recover from the devastating encounter. In the midst of the chaos, the Venom symbiote, drawn to the immense power lingering on Titan, found its way towards them. As Peter called out to Doctor Strange, What is that thing? he replied. Peter walked towards the black goo and extended his hand out. Peter, no, Tony replied. But it was already too late. As the Venom symbiote began transforming Peter's Iron Spider suit into a symbiote infused costume. What the hell, Peter replied, as he extended his hands out to witness the power of the symbiote. Peter then ran towards Iron Man, who was still badly injured, and kneeled down towards Doctor Strange and Star-Lord, telling them that his wounds had been healed. Star-Lord was shocked as the three of them touched the symbiote. The symbiote went on to Doctor Strange, Star-Lord, and Iron Man. The four of them got up as they felt stronger than ever before. We need to stop Thanos, Tony replied. No, Strange said. I've seen realities like this one, and if we don't let him win, he'll destroy us all. Meanwhile, Thanos, now wielding the power of the Carnage symbiote, continued his quest for the remaining Infinity Stones. The heroes regrouped in Wakanda, faced the formidable challenge of stopping Thanos with his enhanced abilities. But the Mad Titan continued on his conquest for power as he reached Wanda and the other heroes. This time, he was able to not only retrieve the Mind Stone, but he killed Wanda in the process with the Carnage symbiote. Thor screamed out in pain and threw his axe towards the Mad Titan. The axe hit Thanos directly in the face. Thanos fell towards the ground, but the symbiote threw the axe back at him. Thor flew backwards to the ground and Cap yelled for one last time to stop him as he began fighting with every last bone in his body. And just in time, a portal opened in front of them as Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Iron Man and the Guardians of the Galaxy all wearing black symbiote suits slowly made their way out. Thanos smiled, the Carnage symbiote recognizing its father, Venom, who had somehow followed it to this timeline, screamed out. The air was tense with anticipation as the symbiote-enhanced heroes exchanged glances. T'Challa, the Black Panther, stepped forward, acknowledging the newly arrived allies. The Avengers, knowing the gravity of the situation, nod in agreement. The Wakandan warriors led by Oki formed a defense line behind the symbiote-infused heroes. The skies were growing darker as the ominous presence of the carnage-infused Thanos loomed closer to victory. The ground trembles as carnage-infused Thanos approaches, his tendrils and the eerie red glow of the symbiote from his formidable figure. The Avengers and the Titan symbiote heroes 
tighten their grip on their weapons, ready for the inevitable battle. The symbiote-enhanced heroes charged forward with a newfound ferocity. Their symbiotic abilities blended seamlessly with their combat skills. Venom swings his tendrils. Iron Man unleashes symbiote-infused blasts. Doctor Strange manipulates with symbiotic illusions. And Star-Lord harnesses the symbiote's energy to enhance his cosmic weaponry. The clash was so fierce, the symbiote-infused heroes coordinated their attacks. The Wakandan warriors joined the fray, creating a united front against the symbiote-infused Mad Titan. During the battle, Doctor Strange opened a portal briefly revealing the Titan landscape, causing a distraction that allowed Iron Man to land a powerful blow on the Carnage symbiote Thanos. However, the Mad Titan quickly recovered, displaying the power of the symbiote. In a pivotal moment, Doctor Strange, infused with the wisdom of the symbiote, devised a strategy to weaken Carnage. The heroes working in tandem execute the plan flawlessly, exploiting the symbiote's vulnerabilities. As the symbiote tendrils retract, Thanos roars in pain. Seizing the opportunity, Thor delivers a mighty blow with Stormbreaker, causing the symbiote to momentarily lose its grip on Thanos. The Titan symbiote heroes capitalize on this. With a surge of energy, Doctor Strange uses a symbiotic connection to trap the Carnage symbiote into a mythical containment spell. The symbiote struggling to still continue but the combined efforts of the heroes proved too much for its malevolent force. Iron Man and Spider-Man nodded as they took the opportunity to rip the gauntlet off of Thanos. Thor using his lightning at the same time began ripping the symbiote off of him. Thanos within a split second was dead as Thor screamed getting closer and closer to Thanos. Thanos looked to his right side as Tony ripped the gauntlet off of him, while Thor smashed his hammer into his skull, killing him. The Mad Titan began gushing out purple blood. As the body of the Mad Titan fell to the ground, he was dead. And the symbiote-infused heroes from Titan began looking at the Carnage symbiote, trying to make an escape before a large lightning bolt hit it causing it to catch on fire, ending the symbiote in the process. It was over, and the Avengers had won, but not without a cost. The life of Wanda. The Avengers had a funeral for her in Vision. And Iron Man, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, and the Guardians rid of the Venom symbiote. Although Tony in this timeline didn't want to get rid of it, he used it to create more armor out of it. The heroes in this universe would go on to spread the stones throughout it, while other heroes like Thor rebuilt Asgard with the stones. The Carnage symbiote was destroyed, but not forgotten, as it showed Earth's mightiest heroes just how much Carnage could be caused if power is left in the wrong hands. And that is going to be, what if Thanos possessed the Carnage symbiote in Avengers Infinity War? Now, if you guys do enjoy this Marvel's What If episode, do make sure to subscribe, like, share, and turn those notifications on, so you and your friends are all up to date with the latest content. I would also highly recommend that you do check out the Patreon, as it does go a long way. But thank you so very much for tuning in, and I'll see you soon. Peace out.